Goodwood Breakfast Club Classic Car Day and as you can see it's very very busy there's loads of cars waiting to get in <laughs> That fits. <laughs> Jeez. There's me worrying about my air filter getting a bit damp. Look. <laughs> yeah, it'll fit. <laughs> That's cool, I like that. Oh. Mate that I was showing you his video, his photos this morning? Yeah. That's from Ron. That's his car. So, and this is that's from Ron's 240Z. Well that's not something I expected to see here today. Is it? Makes it have a car look a tiny little thing, don't it? You have to step up into this. Size of the steering wheel. Holy, well, and that's what you call leg room. That's bigger than my flat. <laughs> oh, oh look, that's cute, isn't it? Got the kids out on the little, uh, doing little kids races. Welcome to the Le Mans start of the Icklepool Race Series. Oh, he's having trouble getting started. They're battling it out for the second there. He had a chicane then, it slowed himself down, didn't he? Oh, is he going to lose it? They're battling for first now. Oh, he's going to block him at the wall. Oh, he pushed through. And he takes first place. It's a DB5, James Bond special. DB5, super leggero. A lot of E-type Jags around, isn't there? Nice little Elan over here. A little, little car. Mark 3 yeah, Escort behind, we'll have a look at in a second. Moggy Miner, Woody. All very, very clean, been done very well, looked after very well. And it shows I'm getting old because we're looking at classic cars and I'm looking at a Mark III XR3. That makes me feel very, very, very old. The original pepper pot rims. Okay, a quick interruption to thank today's video sponsor, More Than Tyres in Bognor Regis. Now you can find these guys at 6 Bockley Road, P1 
PO21 to HW. Now these guys can deal with all of your tyre needs and they always give an absolutely amazing service. I'm going to put that telephone number down here. I'm going to pause for a second so you can write it down. Have you got it? Okay, brilliant. Well, thanks for watching. Let's get back to the video. Dane, what an absolute ginormous car. <laughs> These are just absolutely ginormous. <laughs> and then you, you see this next to it. Totally, totally different. Massive side pipes. 5.7 litre. I may know this gentleman that owns this one. No, it's not the one. I thought this was the one that I'd videoed. I thought he might have had it repainted. Gorgeous Trans Am with very, very nice. Looks like airbrushing across the bonnet. Oh, I didn't see it up on the roof as well, yeah. Nice V8 pickup truck. Love a hot rod, check that out. Sorry, mate, you need, you need more. Yeah. Oh, now that's what you call a different seat belt and steering wheel. That's very cool. I like that. And door handles all looks very, very original. I'm sure I want to check the uh, try the door handle with the uh, seat belts out. Another car that I have absolutely no idea what it is. I've seen this around a few times. A turtle? It's a turtle. Have a look at the gear change, the gearbox. Check that out. That's pretty cool. Uh, it's really hard to video all this for you because you can see the amount of people that are there. It's really hard to get the camera in. And look, it's even harder for people to try to get the cars back out. So this caught my eye, and then the Forest Arch Mark II. Which is all stripped out, buckets. Looks proper race car. That's very nice, but how about a 205 GTI 1.6? See again, makes me feel old. It's a driver, isn't it? That's quite a uh, novel little badge, isn't it? Another RS2000. Two RS2000s, although stock and wide body box arch. Keep walking, people. I want to film it. Thank you. A wide body box arched RS2000. A V8 Capri, that sounds dangerous, Mark 1 Capri. A very nice Volkswagen. That's an unusual looking car. Gorgeous lines down here. I haven't seen one of those before, have you? No! I've seen, I've seen a carbon gear, but not looking like that. Oh, no. Yeah. Sorry? And the gills in the back of it as well. Thank you. 
cool looking car. She's just her farm machinery. An international R120 series. I'm not surprised. It's a very, very old car. I'm going to get it, guess it doesn't get used for farm moving stuff around. Although it has a couple of great big cotton reels in the back of it. 